hello welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome all right so today i'm going to share a few more dreams with you guys and this series of dreams i had on the night of september 20 let's see september 23rd all right so i'm looking at my notes from the blog post so that's why i keep looking down but uh, so, September 23rd, 2020, I had several dreams. In the first dream, I was with my dad, who was shopping for supplies for a trip. I'm going to straighten this because it looks crooked. There. So, he was shopping for supplies for a trip, and he was browsing in one section of a, um, of a store, as I was off in another section. Now, although I was in another section of the store, I was aware that my dad had taken a couple of packages of cinnamon sticks off of the shelf and he opened them and then combined them into a large plastic bag. And as he combined the cinnamon sticks into one bag without a barcode, I came up behind him and I put one of the smaller bags with the bar barcode inside the larger one. Let me see. Okay, so the so the the point of that was let's see here. So he opened the cinnamon sticks and combined them into a larger plastic bag. As my dad combined the cinnamon sticks into one bag without a okay. So the point of that. The point of that was the barcode, all right? So I put one of the smaller bags with the barcode inside the larger bag so that technically the larger bag would have uh, a code inside of it, right? That could be like, so if you take it up to the scanner, that it could be, it could be scanned, the barcode could be scanned. All right, in the next stream, my dad and I were in the woods and it had so this this dream had the same peaceful vibe as a previous dream i had had uh of being in a swamp so i have a previous video on that and a blog post as well where i was in a, uh i was in a swamp and uh, it was very vivid and very real and uh, there were frogs everywhere and this beautiful woman and you know an uh like an ethereal like white gown came up so that was such a beautiful dream but anyway so here we are in the woods and uh there was a horse there and as my dad was busy uh setting a fire or he was busy setting a fire when the horse laid down and what looked like a, a dog bed. So this huge cushion, uh, the ho horse laid down in it. And the horse seemed very proud and happy as though it had done something important. So I had this like prideful sense to it. Um, again, like it had done something important or something, something noble. So then I noticed by, beside the horse on the ground was a plastic bag with the barcode in it, but the cinnamon sticks were missing. So my, uh, my dad, he, it, he seemed to be looking for them, like looking for the cinnamon sticks and uh, asking, where are they? And I was looking at the horse, you know, curled up with its body, like, perfectly filling this little area of this huge dog bed, this, you know, this cushion. And I instinctively knew that the horse was hiding the cinnamon sticks. Or by this time, I'd realized that they were representing incense, right? Uh, you know, because they have a smell to them. So I was thinking incense. Uh, but I just knew that the horse was hiding them. And then I realized that that's why the horse seemed pr kind of prideful, like proud, as it, if it had just done something important. It was hiding the cinnamon sticks or, you know, the incense. So, um, and 
that it was like it was a game and the horse knew something that we didn't. Now in the third dream, I believed, I believe I was at a campsite and I saw a guy that I used to date holding a baby. So I started to talk to him, um, you know, I started talking to him, you know, as he's, as he's holding the sleeping baby girl in his arms. And I asked him about the woman that he started dating after me. And he said they got married and had a baby. Something else is just now coming through as far as like symbolism. All right, uh, maybe it'll come to me. Let me finish this. So I, I think I congratulated him and then the baby woke up and he held her up and smiled at her. And then the next thing I know, I was holding her. And she looked at me with the biggest grin. She had jet black curly hair. And then I said, oh, she's so sweet. She's beautiful. And that was the end of the dream. Now, let me try to think what was coming to me. Uh, the woman he dated after me, they got married and had a baby. Something is coming to me about Jesus, about desire, conscious and subconscious. Okay, I can't really formulate it into a full meaning right now, but it's coming to me. So as I go back, I'm sure... Um, and read through my journal at some other actually I'm going to make a note of this um, and then hopefully that full symbolism there will come to me at a later time I'm sorry I didn't mean to get off track but that happens sometimes it happens when I'm reading Neville Goddard's lectures as well like sometimes I can read through his lectures and then something will come to me as I'm reading the lecture and I'm like trying to concentrate on, on what I'm reading but then something is coming through it, like as far as revelation at the same time. All right, so, uh, so that was the end of that dream. Now, as I was writing down the uh, these dreams in my dream journal, there was a sim there was a, a vision of a similar dream that came to mind. Now I don't know if I ever recorded it, but uh, in the dream that was coming to mind, you know, as I was annotating in my dream journal uh, about the first dream, you know, being in the store of my dad, taking the cinnamon sticks off of the shelf. I was, uh, this other dream that was coming through was that I was in a store shopping in the clothing section. But at some point I found myself in the candy aisle and then I was also at the fitting rooms trying to close. <clears throat> so, I don't know why I began recalling that particular, you know, that dream. Uh, if, you know, if there was something going on within my uh, 3D reality that was impressed upon the subconscious. Because I didn't used to, to write down any correlation um, between the dreams and what I may have seen or experienced it in the, you know, the days or two prior uh or you know in in the the coming days so i have no idea but anyway it was like it was a memory though and uh let's see and then there was a whole scene that dream that was coming back to me th where i was in a shoe section so again i don't recall the details uh but i did have this vivid sense of being in the different parts of the store all right now also, as I wrote down, as you know, writing in my dream journal, as I was writing down the, the part about the cinnamon sticks, the word incense came to mind. And, you know, I felt this urge to look up the word incense in the Bible. Now, there are a lot of verses uh, in the Bible, but as I read through them, uh, the meaning of incense did not immediately come to mind. The word cinnamon is mentioned in the Bible in Revelation 18, 13, 
and Exodus 30.23 and Proverbs 7.17 and uh, Song of Songs 4.14. Now, I don't know if this means anything in relation to the dream, but cinnamon is derived from the word cassia. And cassis can be translated to Hebrew uh, kira, which means split. Again, I don't know in its entirety what uh, the cinnamon truly represented in the dream, but these are just notes that I wrote down. All right. Finally, on December 4th, 2020, as I was describing the dreams from my dream journal into a Word document for my blog, as I transcribed the dreams, uh, the horse and the incense were the two things that really stood out to me. So I looked up the word horse in Hebrew, and it is spelled sus, which has an origin in the name root Yehoshua, which means God rescues. And Yahweh is salvation. So in the Bible, it talks about the cult that Jesus rode into Jerusalem. In Hebrew, one of the translations of horse is donkey or ass. And Neville states that the cult, Neville Goddard states that the cult is the mood you are going to assume. So we are Jesus that rode the cult into Jerusalem, and the cult is the mood we assume. He's mentioned this in several of his lectures. So I don't have any other notes, but uh, that you know, those are just the things that came to mind regarding these dreams. So, all right. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, if you, you know, if you have had dreams involving horses or, uh, you know, something similar, <laughs> I understand that all of our experiences are different, but, uh, you know, if you ever want to comment on any of these videos about your own dreams, uh, or experiences, etc., um, I'd love to read them. All right. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.